Okay, welcome to the channel, welcome back to the channel. So today, uh, we're gonna start the work on the shovel, and specifically, we're gonna do the wiring today. Uh, you saw in the last video, I did the windshield, because uh, I wanted to um, keep the, I wanted to have the fairing on the bike when I did the windshield. Uh, but I decided that I'm going to take all that off so I have some good access to the terminal board. So let's go over there and we'll take a quick look uh, at what's going on on the front end and then we'll come back and start working on the wiring. Okay, so originally I thought uh, I was going to splice this just into the current wiring over here. But I figured why, you know, why bother to do that and have to redo it again? So I bought the correct terminals that go in here, the, the correct connectors that go in here and just... You know, I'm just going to do it the way it should be done. So these are uh, the connectors that go on there. I forget what they are, 13 to 16 gauge or something like that. I think 13 to 16 gauge is what they are, I think. Uh, let me see what it says on here. 3 sixteenths female spade uh, for those connectors. Uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to do these wires here with the terminals. Okay, so I'm going to have to trim all of these off. So we'll uh, cut all these off. Okay. So we need, oops, what's that? All right. We need about, let me just try this. So we need about that much. So this is 14 to 16, where are we at? 16 to 14. So we want this. Now we want this one. So we'll crimp that over. So now we'll take this brake switch, which has to be screwed in right in there. And that's what this plastic piece is for here, is to, so you can screw it in. But you can't do it with your fingers, so you have to do it with some needle nose. And you have to be careful with this because any little bit of stress, these things will pop right off. So. All right, let's move over to the bike and we'll put this on. Okay, let's see if we can get this on without popping that brake, those brake lines off. So I want to... Uh, This has to come up like this. So the new wiring's uh, all in place. This is the loom from the new left and right, and I still have the right side controls off, and I'll show you why. So I did screw that back in, got the right connectors. Everything is in the right spot where it should be. The problem is, this is the front brake light switch, which I thought the brake light was the problem, but it's actually not getting any power to these. Okay, so you can see I got the uh, fairing and everything back on. I did get the kit in for the windshield, so now I can work on this a little bit more. I do want to put a couple more applications on that. Uh, new ignition switch, both uh, left and right. Uh, hand controls are in, everything's wired up. Uh, I did fix the problem with the uh, front brake light switch. It turns out that uh, down here in there behind this post here, there's actually a second terminal block uh, that feeds into here and then it feeds to the stoplight and the brake light switch. And there was a short before it got to this block that was uh, shorting out that switch. So I fixed that. 
all the brake light switches work. Everything's everything's good to go right now. Uh, I got a couple small jobs left on this one. I got to put the seat back on. Uh, but other than that, you know, doing all change, doing all most stuff. Uh, and then this bike is going to be ready uh, for this summer. So I am going to be getting all new wiring harnesses. I contacted a place. Uh, that sells all three. Uh, there's three. There's a main one that comes from the rear to this terminal block, and then from terminal block to the front, and of course the left and right hand controls. But I'll reuse these. I won't need to do the other ones. So, okay, I'm in the process of losing my voice right now. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, share this video if you can. It kind of helps the algorithm a little bit if you can share this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.